Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this Asana review and demo, we're going to be taking a look at the darker side of Asana, specifically the top five reasons Asana might not be the best task manager and project management system for you and your business. Make sure you check out the links in the description to other reviews where we talk about the top five reasons Asana is great, along with other things to help you get organized and streamlined with your business processes. So let's go ahead, dive right in. Number five is price. Now what's great about Asana is that it's free for up to 15 users as of the recording of this video. So you and your small team can pretty much use about 80 to 90% of Asana's features without ever having to pay a dime, which is pretty cool. However, if you have a team that's larger than that or you want some of the other things we're going to talk about later in this review and demo, then the price tag at $9.99 per month per user can add up very quickly, especially if you're paying for something like Google Drive or Dropbox or Box to manage all of your files and you wind up paying anywhere from 15 to $20 per person on your team, those costs just mount very quickly. Now, at $9.99 a month, it's comparable to Trello, which costs the exact same amount, and Monday.com, which is another popular one that's gaining popularity that comes out to about $7 per user, but you have, a, they, you have to purchase them in packages of five. So if you have a larger team or you want some advanced features and you're trying to really cut down on your costs, then you'll actually want to check out Basecamp as an alternative because for $100 a month, you get unlimited access to everything Basecamp has and there's no per month, per cost, per user. So it's a great alternative. Now reason number four, Asana might not be for you, is the Gantt chart feature is locked behind the paywall. So you're going to need to pay $10 per month per user in order to use Gantt charts. So if you like using Gantt charts, then Asana probably isn't for you. There are much better tools out there that are significantly less. And I mean, Google Sheets and Excel, if you really want to go bare bones, but I think it's kind of odd and I understand why they did it because Asana does need to make money. But if you are a Gantt chart person, then Asana probably isn't for you because of the hefty price tag you're going to have to pay just to have access to that feature. Now, number three deals with communication and these last couple ones are just going to deal with your personal style. Now with communication, what's awesome about Asana is you can mention people and directly talk about a project or task right on the project or task. The downside to this though, when compared to something like Basecamp where the focus is communication, is it can be very easy to lose track of conversations, especially if the task has been marked complete and you've already archived it from your inbox. So it's kind of frustrating if you're trying to go back and find conversations from completed tasks, it's very difficult to scroll through all of the tasks you have trying to find those conversations. Whereas Basecamp makes it super easy easy even in completed tasks to see every time you were mentioned or every time a message was sent to you. Now reason number two, Asana might not be for you, deals with the visual representation of Asana. A lot of people like Trello because it's very visual, you have all these boards, and Asana introduced the same feature, but inside of Asana, you can actually can't right now move from a board to a list view, so you kind of have to choose one, or you have to create a task and then apply it to two different teams, or you have to create a task and apply it to two different projects, so you can see it in a board view and a list view, which I find very cumbersome and not very user-friendly, so if you are a visual person and you like the way Trello works, then just go start with Trello. They wind up costing the same. And even though I think Asana has more features than Trello and is much more advanced, if you're a visual person, all those features aren't going to matter because they'll most likely wind up getting in the way of you being successful and actually completing your tasks. Which leads me into reason number one, Asana might not be the best solution for you and that is the endless to-do list. One of the biggest criticisms I've had from other entrepreneurs, not myself because I'm a to-do list person, but from other entrepreneurs is that Asana tends to overload them and them or their teams with tasks where it's very easy for to-do lists to become this super long list that never seems to end. And in some cases I've heard it's wound up causing less productivity because it's so hard to prioritize sometimes. Now, my hack here is once a quarter, I actually go through all of our Asana projects and I put a double slash and a not so everyone on the team knows that those projects or tasks are something we're not gonna be focusing on within 
within the next three months. And that way we can have these massive lists of all these things we want to do, but then we go through and say not so we know what specifically to focus on. And I found a couple entrepreneurs found that helpful, but if endless to-do lists don't sound cool to you, then Asana might not be the best solution. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more helpful videos just like this one to help you figure out what the best software is to be successful with your digital business. So comment below if you have any questions, hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, keep building the business you love.